I debated on whether I should make a video on how to treat your cat that can't pee at home because the last thing I want to do is prevent a cat that needs medical attention from getting the proper medical care. If this video helps you, please help me by clicking the subscribe button. So let me make sure right from the beginning that you know if your cat cannot pee, it is an emergency. Your cat can die. Now the reason I'm going ahead and making this video anyway is because there is sort of this gray area. You see, taking your cat in when they're blocked up can result in a bill that's upwards of a thousand dollars at a veterinary clinic. And unfortunately, there's too many people that can't afford that. And so one of two things happens. Either the cat stays home and without any type of treatment whatsoever and they die, or the cat goes to the veterinary clinic, the person is quoted a very high bill, and then the people are forced to put that cat to sleep. So I'm hoping this video provides a third option for those people who are either not able to afford to take their animal to the vet, or perhaps they live too far from a vet and there's no emergency vets open at the time, or for those people who maybe their cat is struggling to urinate, like mine is, but is not fully to the point of life or death yet because they are still able to pass a little bit of urine. This is my boy cat, named July, and we first noticed about 30 minutes ago that he's been frequenting the litter box about every two minutes or so and straining to urinate. Sometimes he does not pass any liquid at all. Other times, I've seen about maybe one or two droplets. It's a Sunday afternoon, and we live in a barn way out in the Washita Mountains, so a trip to the vet isn't exactly an easy proposition. That's the only reason I'm going to treat him at home. Now we're going to be treating this cat today with apple cider vinegar. Now, apple cider vinegar is a fairly effective home UTI treatment for cats. And uh, a lot of times these block cats, part of their problem is that they have a UTI. Now the crystals that form that block the urethra tend to be alkaline. And so adding apple cider vinegar, which is vinegar, can help uh, bring the pH back to normal and uh, help them urinate. As far as dosage goes, you want to get as much as you can in the cat. We were lucky if we got 5 milliliters in this guy. Besides force feeding, we also added apple cider vinegar to his wet cat food. Oh! oh. I know, it's yucky. Oh, yeah, that's why I didn't want it inside. Jane, get! Jane, get! Get! Oh, no, it's yucky. <laughs> Ew, it's salivating. I know, it's yucky. Ew. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to have a whole lot more like once he started taking it you just gotta get it in there we repeated this process about a half hour later as well it calls my back so I'm in. Oh. <laughs> oh. now as far as other home remedies go you want to make certain that you go ahead and you switch your cat to a wet cat food um, the more hydrated your cat is the better uh, chance they have of passing their blockage. Now, my cats, I don't know why, but for whatever reason, I have found that this expensive fancy feast and gravy stuff is the perfect food for a sick cat. Uh, one, there's a lot of liquid in it, and two, my cats absolutely love this stuff, so no matter how sick he is, he will drink some of this and eat some of this and help stay hydrated. Now, this wet cat food diet should probably be for the rest of your cat's life. Uh, once a cat has been blocked once, uh, he's very likely to have that happen again. You see the urethra in a male cat is much longer and, uh, than one in a female cat and it makes them much more likely to become blocked. And speaking of hydration, I made a special trip to town later in the day for cat water. Um, this is a special, you know, balanced water that uh, is supposed to get cats to drink more. And it's also 
uh, supposed to be already optimized for their pH levels. Um, in my case, I did not find that my cats drank it any more than they would normal water, so it probably was a wasted trip, but uh, if, it might be a good thing to try anyway. I should mention that we have found that these little recirculating water fountains do a good job of encouraging cats to drink as well. So this is another long-term solution that can help prevent this from happening again. While you're in the pet store, you might as well pick up some over-the-counter uh, UTI uh, medicine as well. We uh, These are just droplets that are uh, kind of similar to using apple cider vinegar. And um, we went ahead and put our cat on this for a few days as well. After administering two doses of apple cider vinegar, I pretty much stalked my cat's bathroom habits, watching to see how much fluid he passed with every attempt. As time went by, I noticed he started urinating more and more fluid and eventually started using the litter box less and less. Mm, just a little bit that time. Getting some increased urine flow. By the next day, he was back to himself. I hope your cat makes the same recovery mine did, and I also hope this video helped you. If it did, would you mind helping me by clicking the subscribe button? We are a family of six trying to make a life on 90 acres in the Washtenaw Mountains of Arkansas, and every time someone hits that subscribe button, it helps grow our channel and make this life possible for us. We appreciate you.